I'm your narrator, Dennis Sale, and this is what you're going to learn, he says, hopefully, over this short component of your program. So let's see what the objectives are. Firstly, and we're going to do that right now after this slide, and that is to look at the relationship between what we refer to as perception, beliefs, and behavior. Because these are the key concepts that you must understand and how they connect to each other. And these are things that make us distinctly human and different from mechanical, electrical engineering systems. Then we're going to look at what's distinctive about understanding human behavior from a social science perspective. We will introduce some ideas in this um, online tutorial but that's what we're going to really focus on in the face-to-face -face session and i'm going to be doing some experiments with you to demonstrate these different aspects and you're going to go on then to be able to look at engineering problems not just from a technical engineering perspective but from some of the key understandings concepts that make up a social science perspective so are you ready now, looks like a lot of information on this slide, but I'm going to tell you a story first. And I was about seven years old and I lived in London, England, and I liked to go fishing, but all the rivers were polluted. But I had an aunt and uncle who lived in a nice part of England called Bath. Some of you may go to university there. It's quite a nice city, a bit expensive now, but there's some great fishing areas. And my mother would put me on the train at London. It was the old steam trains. I'd go to Bath. My aunt would meet me. Anyway, while I'm there, the second day, my aunt comes into the bedroom and she puts her hand under the blankets and she pulls out an egg and she says to me, Dennis, you've laid an egg. Now, I'm seven years old. I wasn't a rocket scientist, but I knew that chickens laid eggs. Well, I believed that chickens laid eggs. If you'll see the diagram at the top there, perception, beliefs, there's an arrow going backwards and forwards. And that's because what I'm going to get across is that perception and beliefs are essentially the same thing, but they're fundamental to understanding human behavior. So let's go back to the chicken story, right? Um, I believed that I was not a chicken and chickens laid eggs. And, you know, I think we can now say that that's a fairly factual statement, but at that time I believed it. And I was quite right. And I didn't think too much about the egg being in my bed. I thought it's my aunt playing the trick. But the following morning, she comes in, she puts her hand under the bed, and she pulls out two eggs. And she said, Dennis, you're getting better. And I'm kind of looking at her, and I can't see how she's doing this. Anyway, during the day when I'm fishing, I'm thinking about this a bit. This is a bit weird. The third day comes in another two eggs. Now, I'm kind of thinking to myself, well, hold on a minute, you know, my, my beliefs are that I'm not a chicken, chickens lay eggs, but my experience, my perception, what I'm seeing at this point in time is that I may well be laying eggs. And um, I'm still there and I'm fishing the following day and I'm kind of thinking about this. I think, well, hold on a minute, maybe um, I'm not a chicken, and but maybe I, I've got certain chicken-like tendencies and, you know, I'm a human being, but I, I can actually lay eggs. And that's how I kind of dealt with this conflict between the perception of lying eggs and laying eggs and um, my belief system that I wasn't a chicken. And I remember going home and running off the train and saying to my mum, 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 you can see the quote there, you don't have to buy eggs anymore because I'm laying them. Obviously, my mum uh, went a bit mad and sort of thought, well, you know, Dennis has gone crazy, rings my aunt up and kind of as a bit of a goer and says well what have you done to dennis you know he's, he thinks he's chicken now so that's the story it's a totally true story now in fact my aunt then um came on the phone and said she was planting the eggs during during the uh, the night when i was asleep so that it, it, it wasn't david blaine stuff but the kind of thing is it makes a point that we learn things through our experience we perceive things in our world and if those things are not challenged um they become our beliefs and here's a, a couple of examples um, um some people um in, in certain cultures certainly my culture um there was um, father christmas and we still celebrate that some people do in some religions uh, but the basic point is this that um 
as a kid, I actually believed there was a Father Christmas. Now, what a, what a crazy idea. You've got, a, you've got an old fat fellow with a couple of reindeers, and he, he travels all over the world. He comes down his chimneys and, and gives kids all these presents in one night. Concept's ridiculous, isn't it? But as a kid, I actually believed that. And there's still kids walking around now in Singapore who are talking about at this time of year, oh, Santa brought me this. Well, it's daddy, isn't it? Or mummy or, you know, Uncle George or whatever. But there's also kind of other beliefs. Um, one of the things that gave me the creeps as a kid, I was told that there was this thing called a bogeyman who come from under the bed at night and kind of uh, was generally unpleasant to children who didn't do what their parents told them. And I was pretty terrified about this character. Again, um, I've never uh, actually encountered one, but I can remember lying in bed and being terrified, you know, that there was something under the bed. And another kind of thing we had in kind of Western culture was a tooth fairy that when you lose a tooth, you put it under the pillow and the tooth fairy comes at night and, and gives you some money. Now, I don't believe in any of these things now, but I did at one stage believe in all of them. And that's because I was told that by parents at a young age, and that was my perception of reality. And essentially, if you look at this quote, and it's a massively powerful one, that beliefs are no more than perceptions, usually with a limited self by date, that's why I don't believe in any of these anymore. But at that time, when we have these beliefs, um, they are they are realities, they are facts of life. So the big point I want to get across to you is that as an engineer, or whatever you do, when you look at things, you, you're tending to see what you've learned prior based on your beliefs. And if you're going to be good at engineering design, you've got to be able to imagine things differently and as we'll see in the face-to-face -face session, there's lots of barriers um, in terms of the way humans, the human brain works that actually stops us doing that. It's much easier to do what we've already learned. The brain is an information processing machine. It's not naturally created. So um, there's your big concepts to kick off with. Perceptions, beliefs, the same thing but it shapes the way we experience and interact with the world.